Oh yeah, dude, it feels good. It feels good to be back. <laughs> What's up, my boys? Welcome to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. So I've been waiting to play this game for a really long time. As you can tell from me uh, talking about it constantly during our Undertale playthrough and, you know, after I completed Danganronpa 1, you know, I've just been really hyped because this is actually a completely new experience to me because I've never actually seen anything from Danganronpa 2. Like I said with my Danganronpa 1 playthrough, I actually watched Berlizzi play through it on his channel. I spilled water on my keyboard! Uh, but for Danganronpa 2, I'm going in completely blind because that's just how I wanted it to be, you know? I wanted it to be a new experience. You know, you get my genuine reactions, all that stuff, all that stuff that's good for YouTube, you know? Uh, but yeah, I just, I just want to start playing. Let, let's just press start from the beginning. Ooh, okay, extras, options. Uh, we're gonna go with English, as we always do. Uh, we're gonna go on mean difficulty, like we did before. Let's go! Hey! Oh, okay. Who's this? Can you hear me? Whoa. Oh, who are you? Are you okay? Uh, hi there? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Ooh, okay. They're just kicking it right off. Damn. Hey, are you listening? I'm listening. I don't know if the guy I'm playing as is. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right. I... I... Ooh. Starting PCS version 101. Whoa, what's going on here? It's like we're... Are we in a simulation? Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Game start. Whoa. Okay. I like that 8 bit sounds. This one helped title drop. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Ooh, is this the guy we're playing as? And when that long awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Oh shit, is that Hope's Peak Academy? Looks like it. Hope's Peak Academy. Oh shit, we're back. <laughs> just as soon as we thought we left it in the last game. Well, we're right back in it. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Heh, <laughs> baseball. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join the rep team. Ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. I like the music so far. It's like, similar sounding, but like, you know, a little bit of a twist to it to make it sound new. I like it. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Host Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. Yeah, we've heard that before. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Yeah, we've, we've seen this one before. This is very similar to the start of Ripple 1. <laughs> Except, you know, we're playing as a new guy, clearly. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. 
The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That's how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Yeah. Are we still going to be the ultimate lucky student, or is this guy going to be like a completely different person from Makoto Naigi? Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Oh shit, what is his ultimate talent? Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Come on, just tell us. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. Yeah, what's your name? I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. Informalities are always a little embarrassing. Ooh, okay. I like his voice. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hajime Hinata, okay. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. To... Oh, the screen's glitching. Oh, what's going on here? Whoa. I'm assuming that's a part of the game, right? That or my laptop's glitching out. <laughs> for that reason alone, I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always... Whoa. Always, 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 always... Always until now, I never want to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why I hope... I might have admitted... I have... I might have admired talent... Uh, individuality... Oh my god, I can't read it! But I have finally forever tried my best, finally became true- Oh. Huh? I think the, simula the simulation just broke. What is this? Whoa. What the fuck? There's this door in front of us. It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? Why is he talking so slowly? T -t Today, Junior! No, I should hurry. Oh, this is already. This is fucking cool, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! Is this a class? Holy shit, look at all these character designs, holy shit. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. There? Oh, who's talking? Uh, um, are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. Whoa. Um. Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, I think so. Uh, then you're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. Huh. How the fuck is that guy on the right a freshman? You see that guy? He's buff as hell. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of Mondo. These guys? Everyone? The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy? The Ultimates? Who's this fat ass in the middle? It looks like Byakuya, but like he gained some weight. <laughs> I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Uh, it seems like it. Gathered? I like this song playing in the background. Oh, look at the UI. Holy shit. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Pause. Eh. Ah, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool, the fuck? I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? You tell me, I have no clue. This reminds me of like Kingdom Hearts, like what the fuck is this? Like entering a door in like the fucking void? I wanted to be here and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. 
definitely weird. Um, excuse me? What? Oh my god, his voice. He even sounds like Viakio. What's going on here? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there any- Is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? What is this dude's name? It's just triple question marks. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the- the, the, the uh, Ah! Can't read! Oh my god, I'm already stuttering. Let's start the discussion. Oh, who's this girl? Fucking punk rock girl? Eh, is this everyone? How do you know? There are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is a 16th student. Oh shit, so we actually have 16 students now? It's not like where we had 15 students and like one of them was actually the mastermind? It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm-hmm. What, what is the dude's voice? And just what are we gonna talking about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? I don't think anyone does. Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. Dude, it literally is the same voice actor as Biagia. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? Oh my god, he even acts What's like him too? On? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. Now you're here and you don't know why. I don't know anybody's names yet. Like, this is so weird. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? Th that happened to me too, but... Huh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? Hmm? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? Feels like this is going to get even stranger. Yeah. Clearly. Ha! I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. What do you mean? Oh! Who is this guy? Fucking pink hair? I actually kind of like this guy's look. The beanie on too? What do you mean? Oh shit, I don't think I read what he said. <laughs> I mean, it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Oh yeah, nobody tried to leave? Holy shit, fucking big titty girl over here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Uh, seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Clack 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 clack! Huh? huh? It, it won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. <laughs> but that door wouldn't budge at all. Okay, alright, calm down, calm down. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! What's going on? Jeez. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. You hey, don't un un don't underestimate other people's strength. Eh, what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. Sh she's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Yeah, I kind of like this girl. The glasses, pigtails too. I like her look. Locked inside? Oh, here we go. Despair syndrome playing in the background. W what do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a, a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. 
screwed? M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance, entrance exam? I can't speak. The entrance exam? You mean Host Peak Academies? However... But according to Hope Speak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. What? I may say that publicly, but it's imp it's possible to think that this is actually a special entrance exam. That's wrong. Whoa! Ah, you're wrong. This is not an entrance entrance exam. Why can't I say entrance? What the fuck? What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why did you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Oh, he really thought it was him that said that. Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose is it? Um. I have a feeling I know who it is. Um, it's actually mine. <laughs> Fucking chill, bro. <laughs> who's there? Where are you? It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin! Oh god, is that Usami? Uh. Uh. Yup! That's definitely her! What the fuck? Okay. Well, she definitely looks a lot cuter than Monokuma. By the way, the only reason why I know who Usami is, is because uh, of school mode in Danganronpa 1. What is that? Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! Yeah, I don't know about this. I'm still very skeptical of her. Magical Miracle Girl Usami! AKA Usami! Magical Miracle Girl Usami. Okay. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. This is a lot more creepy compared to Monokuma, I won't lie. Nice to meet you all. Okay. Huh? Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? Chihuahua, really? Eh, that's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? Wait, is that what she is? Oh my god, that is that is what she is. Look at her ears. Oh yeah. I thought she was just like another bear or some shit. It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. <laughs> Hold on. Let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um, um, what do you guys think? I, I, I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. I've definitely seen one. <laughs> uh, it's probably a, re a remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Alright, alright, fucking chill out. Watch your profanity. Right, I'm sorry. Even if it's a remote controlled, it doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Yeah, definitely. Stop talking. Did we ever learn how Monokumas were, like, made? I don't know. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of the school trip. Ooh, are we going on a field trip? School trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. Whoa, whoa. Bro, I feel like they haven't explained anything to us. <laughs> they just threw us straight into the game. We're on a school trip. We're trapped in high school. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> depart? Alright, we're just going. Uh, What the fuck? Whoa! Are we in Hawaii right now? 
Uh, okay. <laughs> what is this music? Okay. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky? White clouds? Yeah, this is definitely a whole lot different compared to Danganronpa 1, where we were just trapped inside of uh, classrooms. Blue sea? White waves? What? The hell is this? I don't fucking know. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Cle clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Okay? Um... um... Whoa, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? But where are we? Whoa. Huh? W what's going on? Everyone. Everyone, please stay calm. <laughs> there is no reason to panic, see? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Yo, I feel like the game is trying to trick me right now. They're trying to trick us into, like, thinking we're safe, but then they're gonna, like, fucking kick off the killing game, you know? <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? What, what is that she has on her back? Is that, like, an instrument? I'm assuming that is. Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're... <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. What do you mean by that? Out by the sea. <laughs> I feel like I could have made a dirty joke there, but I just couldn't think of anything. <laughs> I, I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at school, and now we're we are by the sea. This is impossible. Please do not worry. The school trip the school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. Are we gonna have school here instead? I'd honestly be down. This is way better than being trapped inside of a school. But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? We totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She, she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Host Peak Academy. I see. Ah, Host Peak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy, then in that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a, f a school trip in the first place. Okay, yeah, this is, this is definitely shady, bro. What is going on with Hope's Peak? Huh? Bastard. The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm just doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there's no need to worry. Wait, this island? Are, th are there other islands? What's going on here? Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Yeah. Yup, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Oh. Lord of the Flies bullshit here? Huh, what, what? Kill each other? Nuh-uh. Yes. No way. Bloody business? Like causing violence or inflicting pain? is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah, yeah so scary. Ah, oh, dude, I'm, I'm very skeptical, man. But at the same time, I have no clue what is going on either, so... <laughs> then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Yeah. Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. This is the- that is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. Ah, I don't know about this, bro. I don't know about this. What did you say? 
heartthrobbing school trip? Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is... Everyone's homework! What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then... Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! Okay? It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, a, like a curtain slowly lowering. My mind ground to a halt. Okay? What is this? Dangan Island? Huge panic at the heart-throbbing school? Hajime Hinata. Are we getting names? Chiyaki Nanimi? Sonia Nevermind? What? What kind of a name is that? Akane Owari? Sound- okay, I couldn't read that. What the fuck? I can't read these! Ayo! Hey, what is going on here? I wonder if this is copyrighted. Oh! Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Alex Shady, welcome to Dankin Island. Are you ready? Nagito? What? Idai Miyota? Okay, I- I'm gonna have to learn these guys' names, because I can't fucking keep up right now. S what? what? What did that say? Whoa, 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 whoa! That said Togami. That definitely said Togami. So that dude has to be related to Byakia. Heart throbbing school trip? Okay. Would you like to save your current pro- I guess. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Oh, we're at the scene now. Okay. Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also. No, everyone else feels the same too. Why does this feel like the opening to Skyrim? Hey, you. You're finally awake. <laughs> Is that just me? Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Uh, are you gonna say anything, Hajime? Hey! Hey, are you sure you're okay? Uh, leave me alone. Okay. Hey, I, th I thought we were gonna make friends with this guy. Th there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Oh. He looks pale? White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean. The sun's rays beaming down on me. The soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to, to attend Host Peak Academy. Why this? Why did this... Why... Am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're on a tropical island? You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dangan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. Okay. Tutorial text. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know that. If the reticle responds, press the left mouse button. You can also shift your point of view with the WASD keys, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you press the tab key, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine, yeah. The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get- from the get-go. Now then, please search the beach thoroughly and progress the story. Alright. Ooh, okay. Okay, so the controls are pretty similar. Tab? Okay, I could've sworn it was not tab to look for things. Is this a camera? What's going on here? Surveillance camera. Hmm, is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Yeah, we've definitely seen one of these uh, in the first game. Are we being monitored or something? Yeah, why would we need to be monitored? I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. I don't know about that, bro. Well, it's a waste of time to think about it. That's not to worry. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, fuck off. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Well, maybe he just wants to make friends, bro. Maybe he's just a chill guy. Probably. Alright, uh, the waves? The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Okay, uh, what is this monitor right here? Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? Yeah, we're definitely being watched, bro. Uh, palm tree? Coconut tree. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. 
That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now's not the time to be impressed by it. Okay. So how are you feeling? Are you calm down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Yeah, can we please learn somebody's name? We haven't learned anybody's name yet. Other than Hajime's. Uh, introduction? I'm Nagito Komaeda. I'm nice Nagito. Oh, okay. I just talked over him. Nagito Komaeda. Okay. Ultimate lucky student? Wait, this guy's the ultimate lucky student? So what am I? Ah, along with my introduction. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Host Peak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. Well, clearly not, because we played as the ultimate lucky student last time, and, I mean, that worked out. <laughs> a disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Okay. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student? So what is Hajime's ultimate talent? You're right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. Oh, is that how they determine the ultimate lucky student? They just pick some random guy off the street? <laughs> Host Peak Academy as the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? I don't fucking know, but it worked out in the first game. <laughs> How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. No, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. So I never thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. They told me I really- they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope's Peak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they would even bother researching something like that. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy, so for that, I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Yeah, we know how that feels. Ah, sorry, I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Hmm. Nagito Komaida, huh? He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he definitely- But he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Then let me ask you a question. What's your ultimate talent? Yeah, tell us. Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my head. Well, what's, what's going on here? Is his ultimate talent supposed to be, like, a big deal? As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. Oh god. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Oh, I see what's going on here. So whatever the ultimate talent he had, it got wiped by, I guess, the mastermind? Is there a mastermind this time? I'm assuming there might be. Like, who would be operating uh, Usami, right? Uh, without realizing it, my body began to shudder as waves of discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about, about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Now there's definitely going to be a situation later on where we have to like figure out what Hajime's ultimate talent is. Yep. I mean, that's what we did with Kyoko in the first game, right? She didn't know that she was the ultimate detective. Then, I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. I'm sure we can. Obtain Hope Fragment. Hey, did something just beep? Oh my god. W what a weird sound. 
I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right, that strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from inside of my pocket. E-handbook? Oh, okay, well, you got our handbooks. W what the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. But why is something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? This dude doesn't remember shit. <laughs> oh right, you seem pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? Oh! Okay, well, here's Usami. It's an e-handbook! What the? Where'd you come from? Oh, did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Teehee, I know how to apologize like a good girl. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I'm freaked out by this, by this fucking... What, what is a rabbit? Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is, so, is absolutely vital for the school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. Yeah, I don't remember how these work. Th this device is that important? I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all the hope fragments. What are hope fragments? Hope fragments? That's right. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope, fra hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of the school trip. Why is this like school mode, but like, this is like a part of the main story. <laughs> love, love. Uh, hey, she's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. Sounds very familiar. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. If this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. Uh, I don't know about that, buddy. Y you're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. Yeah, please do. Th that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps. Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Yeah, probably. Is this like a Mr. Beast challenge? <laughs> Remember when he like uh, had people compete on a fucking island? Whoever the winner was uh, owned the island? Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we can learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? Hey, at least we have a lot more freedom compared to the fucking classrooms in Danganronpa 1 where we couldn't really explore until people died. <laughs> so why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tie along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? I guess, but is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in, sh in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate? Or is it that, what's her name, Usami's fault? I don't what know. Happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. R right, got it. At any rate, if this was a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the E handbook with the F1 key, it's super easy. I'm pretty sure I could just use the, like, the number one key on my keyboard. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and the report card, which documents everyone's info everybody's information. Okay. So we got report cards in this game too. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. I'm pretty sure we learned that too in the first game. That's all there is about the handbook. Uh, I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. Oh, right, you can exit the beach with the R key. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, 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 I can just use the one key. Ooh, okay. Oh, so we got presents in this game too? Report card, regulations. Oh god, where are the regulations? 
Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relax and relaxing lives with your fellow students. I don't know why I can't read today. Please consider it. Huh? Be considerate. Oh my god, I really can't read. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's be bountiful nature and mutual pos prosperity. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Ooh, I wonder what happens if somebody violates a rule then. Pet? You will be able to raise your own adorable e-pet. What? What is this? Oh my god, what is this? Hope meter, despair meter, until next growth? What? How does this work? Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with that right now. It's just typical stuff. Alright, we'll keep playing. Uh, R. Leave. Leave here? Yes. Hey. Ah, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed onto this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually... To be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm sh pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Dude, why is this guy like- he's very similar to Makoto's character. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? Eh? You don't know? The school is so popular. There are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then, was I also? Hmm. I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. Nah, I mean, in the first game, Makoto was able to find some people on the internet, but he couldn't find everybody. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Imagine if he was, he just snuck in and got trapped into this bullshit. Anyway, I'll help, to I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making our your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first, I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island, then... Oh, I should apologize. There was something I forgot to tell you. Fucking tutorial text. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, e you will be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, uh, the story will, pro will progress. Okay. It's super convenient, now then let's go. Alright. Finally leave. Whoa, first island. Okay. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You move with the WASD keys. Uh, you can run by holding the shift key. Okay, that's the same. You can press the Q and E keys, you can also instantly move to the next area. Whoa, okay. Uh, when the reticle responds, you can go inside places by pressing the left mouse button. You probably realized it by now, you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Yeah, I was really curious about that. Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take. Ah, oh, okay. So try walking to places instead of using map jump. Okay. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Okay. Oh, this is- it's in 2D now. Before in the first game, it was 3D movement in like first person. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to this, man. Uh, can I look at the map? Uh, okay. So they're all like exclamation marks. Is this where I was? Oh, that, that is where I was. Alright, let's go to Central Island then. Hajime. Hajime, it looks like if we go across this bridge, we can reach another island not far from here. Is it safe? That's what we're going to find out, right? If it's not safe when we get there, then what will you do? <laughs> Alright, let's travel between islands. Central Island. Uh, is there anything here on this island? Trevor Walk Park. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything else on the map. I can't move it anywhere else, so... Yeah, let's go to Jabberwock Park, whatever the fuck that is. Is this just gonna, like, loop? Wait, what is this? I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a gate blocking it. it looks like there's another island on the other side of the bride, but it seems we can't cross it. Oh, I see. Yeah, this seems to be the case. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a case of we're gonna have to kill each other to fucking unlock new areas. Just like in the first game. I'm assuming this shit just loops, right? Jabberwock Park. Wait, if I run back over here, is it gonna be the bridge? No, there's another bridge over here. It looks like Gate's blocking it. There's another island. Yeah, okay. Okay, so control is still fast forward. Ooh, what is this? What? What was that? What? Help? What? You saw that little notification? Oh, wait, was that the... Was that the pet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the pet. That was the pet. What is this? Presents? Uh, 
What did I get? Did I get anything? I don't think I got anything. I, I don't know how this shit works, bro. I'm still trying to learn this game, obviously. Uh, I guess I'll keep walking around. There's another bridge over here. There's a lot of bridges here. Five. Oh, I just realized, are there numbers on all these? I just gotta like run around this whole island. <laughs> First time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so this does loop. So this goes one through five. Okay, so we're obviously missing some islands. Uh, let's go to Jabberwock Park. So the game really encourages us to not fast travel. Which I think is pretty good. So, this is a park. This is... A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> hmm, feels so nice. Such a laid-back attitude. But if we weren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying, enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. Yeah, what is that level about? It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions, such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. Yeah, but w what does that actually mean, though? The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. Oh, okay. So there's actually a reason to level up now. Okay, well actually there wasn't a level up system in the first game, I don't know what I'm saying, but like, they're actually making like skills and like shit, like interacting with other people, like a big deal in this game. That makes sense. Uh, Camera over here. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. Do I get experience for that? Do I explore this? Bronze statue, what is this? It's a bronze statue of various animals, plus it's pretty huge. Like my cock! I smell cat! Wow, what a grand statue. Yeah, it's grand, but it's a isn't it also kind of creepy? What? You think so? I think it looks splendid. It looks fucking cool. I mean, look at it. It probably symbolizes the whole island. I guess? I don't know. I don't know what you're seeing, N Nagito. It sure is grand. This island's symbol, huh? Okay, so I guess we'll introduce ourselves to this guy. There's a monitor over here. This is, I thought, a blank screen. Doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? It hey, don't tell me I have to, like, grind for, like, levels, right? Like, I'm not gonna be walking around everywhere just to grind for levels. Uh, what do you want? Th this guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. I saw that you had the last name Togami, so I'm kind of interested in that. Even his body is overwhelming. Okay, no need to roast the guy. <laughs> ah, Byakia. Have time for a small introduction? What did you say? That- that's actually Byakia? Introduction? Wait, what? That's Byakia Togami? What's going on here, bro? Why is he so fat? <laughs> like, what? Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. My name is Byakia Togami. I wonder why he sounds similar. It's literally the same guy. But like... Oh my, what, what is going on here? I'm so confused. Ultimate Affluent Progeny. Yeah, we know that from the first game. But how do you get so fat? Like, what's going on here? I'm done. That's it, right? Back off. Uh, I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. Well, I suppose that's Byakia for you. Yeah, definitely. Good to see that we have at least one familiar character in here with us. <laughs> what do you mean? Actually... That guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. Yep. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. Yeah, he did some day trading, I remember that. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. But it's true, though. You there, Hajime, was it? Eh? Tell me, why did Hope Speak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Oh god, here we go. Um, uh, the thing is... I honestly can't remember. What? You don't remember? I mean, he's probably heard this shit before, like when Kyoko said she couldn't remember her ultimate talent. Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't really remember much. <laughs> how foolish. Um... Yes. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you do you intend to stand there? Listen. Move along. That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Why is he so fat, bro? <laughs> Let's just leave, Hajime. 
Yeah, sure thing. It's like I'm talking to Makoto and Byakia. It's like nothing ever changed. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pushes people away. Is this what it means to be the, ul the ultimate affluent progeny? Okay, we're level 2. Cool. Okay. Is that it for this area? I'm assuming that is, right? Uh, I guess we'll leave. There's really no point just staying here. We'll keep walking around the island, trying to level up. Oh man, you know what this whole pet thing reminds me of? Did you guys ever, like, play HeartGold and Soul Silver? Like, Pokemon HeartGold, Soul Silver, And have that Pokewalker with you? Oh my god, I used to love uh, using that. You pretty much just, like, walk around and, like, level up your Pokemon. Yeah, it was really fun. Unfortunately, my, like, Pokewalker got fucking broken because I left it in my pocket. I forgot to take it out when I went to wash my clothes, so yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh wait, I am leveling up. Am I? Oh god, don't tell me this is gonna be a thing where I gotta, like, grind for levels. Oh god, that's not what I want from a dang and Ropa game, bro. Bridge, front. So we went on the bridge. I don't think that leads to anywhere else. Beach? Is that where we're at? I think that's where we're at right now. Uh, none of these places say go, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to walk everywhere. So we gotta find... I guess whatever we run into first. This is the ranch? A ranch! Alright, let's head to the ranch. Usami Coral. Or Corral. Coral. <laughs> this looks like a ranch. Well... No shit. Though there aren't many animals around. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you found it out. You again, seriously, where do you keep appearing from? I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on the island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Is she talking about that toy she's holding? What, that actually does something? Monokuma didn't have anything like that, and yet he could still do the same shit. Hmm, still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. Whoa, what? You might want to rephrase that, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? A moo cow? Oh god, what are you doing? This is chicken. What? She can change the animal? What? What? Hroomph. A huge success. What was all that just now? Yeah, what the fuck? A, a, a chicken changed into a cow? That's not it. No, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was a setup before we got here. Maybe? She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? But, well, if you think rationally, it makes sense. A chicken can't just change it to a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? How long have we been going for? We're going for an hour? Fuck it, should we go for two hours? We may as well, you know? Let's just finish the introductions today. Have an extra special one. It, wait, is that a toucan? Yo, Fruit Loops? A tropical bird. That's what I should call it, right? I have no idea what's going on anymore. Alright. Oh, I didn't see this person over here. Usami Corral, huh? I guess it's a ranch. How can that rabbit own a ranch in the first place? Well, I shouldn't think too hard about it anyway. Should we look at the cow? Moo! Based on appearances, it just looks like a regular run-of-the-mill cow. What kind of trick is changing a chicken into a cow anyway? Uh, Let's say we got a, a couple people here. I think we just level up from like, talking to- No, 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 I don't want to leave. God damn it. Hajime, you still haven't introduced yourself to someone here. Whoops. Sorry, it was a misinput. It was a misinput! Misinput! It was a misinput! Misinput! Calm down! You calm the fuck down! Alright, who are you? Okay. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down and keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't, interest I haven't introduced myself, right? My name is Hajime Hinata. Mm hmm? Hmm? I'm Hiyoko Sayonji. Hiyoko Sayonji. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to in saying that. Ultimate traditional dancer. Okay. Hiyoko Sayonji. Okay. Wait, what is she squishing? She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what she's doing? Um, actually, she's actually pressing her finger onto the grass, not the floor. I'm sure someone would have said that. And her appearance and voice are so young, I can't believe she's actually a high school student. I met some people in high school who 
are like that, you know, they sound young and they're like small, but they're actually like 18 years old. <laughs> actually. Hiyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. Yo, this guy has done too much research. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. Oh. FBI, open up! It's probably because she looks so young. Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. What the fuck? Okay, can you stop squishing? Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm hmm? Hmm? I'm squishing. Squishing what? Mr. Ant, Mr. Ant, of course. I'm squishing lots of Mr. Ants. Mr. Ant, okay. Come again? <laughs> <laughs> if you squish your tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Okay, you're a freak, what the fuck? Wanna do it together? Hell no! Aw, oh, okay. Hm, <laughs> you wuss. Hey, yo, talking shit? Yeah. Oh. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Okay, so we got a hope fragment. Whatever, who are you? Yo. Hey, who are you dudes? It's finally nice to meet you. I'm Hajime Hima Hinata, oh my god. I've said his name like five times already. Gotcha, who's this other dude? What? Huh? Haven't we already met? <laughs> oh, haha, <laughs> I'm sorry. I pretty much suck at remembering names. Same. And I've met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagito Komaida. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo, the name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Okay, Akane Owari. Ultimate Gymnast. Yeah, she definitely looks like it. Akane is known as the Ultimate Gymnast and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it she's a she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised. Huh. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered. No matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. <laughs> Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got the physique of an of an Olympic athlete. Yeah, no shit. Especially with her fucking mommy milkers right there. Holy shit. Huh? Don't tell me you. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? Bro, this dude is reading my mind. Holy shit. <laughs> you're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. Is this guy just gonna stick around? Yeah, it sure is peaceful. <laughs> that cow was raised on a tropical island like this. It probably is really tasty, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Was it even raised here? Probably not, but whatever. Let's leave. Let's go for a jog. All right, so yeah, there's other places on the island. I just leveled up. Level three, let's go. Welcome to the Hotel California. Hotel site. Oh, I thought for a second we were gonna be able to walk around. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps. The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. Hotel future, huh? When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Dude, I, th I think Hajime needs to calm down, bro. <laughs> He's so tense about everything. Well, it seems obvious that this area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? Why are you so tense? It's like he doesn't think about- he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Maybe? Who knows? Don't want to assume shit. A map will be displayed if you press the tab key. Oh shit! Like actual 3D movement here? I said the tab key, don't make me repeat myself. Yo, we can walk around again! Hey, Oh, whoa. Okay, so are these like our dorms? Holy shit. These are way better than regular dorms, dude. Look at this shit. I'll get our own houses. Um, alright, so let's look around over here. I like this place, bro. Way better than being trapped inside of a fucking... 
Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. Way better than tr being trapped inside a classroom. Hmm? That's right, you haven't told me your name. Oh. My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Neko Maru Nidai. Neko, Neko Maru Nidai, okay. Ultimate team manager, what the fuck? That was not what I was expecting. Neko Maru Nidai. Nidai, not Midai. Uh, um, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata! Can you chill out, bro? No! You can be louder than that! Do it again! My name is Hajime Hinata! Please, to make your acquaintance! I can't be too loud in my house. <laughs> I am Nekumaru Nidai! Don't forget it, even if you go to hell. Bro, what is this dude's problem, bro? <laughs> I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! Y you don't need to repeat your name so much. I won't forget it. <laughs> yeah, ha 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 ha. I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. Not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yeah, look how buff he is, bro. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. Thank you, walking encyclopedia. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? He's not just a team manager, after all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs, managing their teams. Okay, I, I didn't really expect that to be an ultimate talent, but I guess that makes sense. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to a victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to a national victory as well. Hmm. Rumor has it, he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. Oh god, he's probably talking about like a real pitcher, but I don't know who he's talking about. If that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> but with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. Who's this person over here? Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. Okay. Okay, fucking chill. This guy is already in a crappy mood. You... What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Fucking, dude, relax. R relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce, your introduce yourselves? Hey. See, you haven't been proper properly introduced to each other, right? Huh. <laughs> Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Oh my- Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. That's gonna be a hard name for me to, to pronounce. Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu? Okay. What are you? Ultimate Yakuza! Oh shit, okay, this guy's a fucking badass. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. He's part of the Yakuza, man. Um... Fuyuhiko is a high school student and an heir to the Kuruzu- Kuzu Ryu clan. Oh my god, that's so hard to say. Eh? The Kuzu Ryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you have at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzu Ryu clan is the, lar is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. Bro, why are people like him allowed into Hope Speak Academy? Like, Mondo was let in to Hope Speak Academy, right? And he was like the ultimate biker gang leader? <laughs> Which means, he's the ultimate Yakuza. Damn. That's honestly a badass title, Ultimate Yakuza. The heir to a Yakuza clan, and it's THE Kuzuryu clan, no less. Actually. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. Yeah. This guy's gonna fucking kill us in here. Is that, is that like, what's going on here? This guy's gonna start killing everybody? You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. Damn. That was close, I nearly lost all my fingers. Yeah, don't fuck with gangs, bro. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. Haha, <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Uh, guess not. Hey, bastard. Hey, bastards, if we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? Alright, fucking relax, bro. We'll, we'll move along, we'll move along. Uh, alright, who's this redhead over here? Hey! She looks kind of interesting. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? 
Was that me? Uh, uh, yeah. You are a boy, right? Hey, you gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girl safe. Uh, uh, okay? <laughs> y you're right. What about the strong, independent whammon? Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiro Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Let's see. I'm um, Mahiro Koizumi. Okay. What are you? Ultimate photographer. Hey, okay. That's pretty cool. Mahiro is known as the ultimate photographer. She's a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a, a young photographer who has won numerous awards. I kind of, I mean, it kind of feels like the case when it comes to every ultimate student around here. You know, they always earn like a like a shitload of rewards or some shit. Uh, on that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. I didn't even notice that. Is there? I don't see one. What? <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem to seem decent enough. Hmm? Decent? Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know? That's what the stuffed animal Usami was saying. Wait, what? After you finish collecting all of the hope, fra hope fragments- oh my god, I can't speak- that you earn by getting along with everyone. This joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. Ooh. Why do I feel like that's not gonna be true? <laughs> Th that's all we have to do, to and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? I don't know, bro. There's gonna be a twist s somewhere around here. I don't know. I don't know what the twist is gonna be, but, like, it's gonna happen at some point. Hey, you should be playing paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? Uh, not really. I just feel even more skeptical. As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so. What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. Hey, look, I'll take a life like this over, like, any classwork, bro. High school is so fucking boring. Well, I mean, like, the schoolwork part of high school. Not, like, you know, hanging out with friends, you know, the fun stuff. I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. Not a big deal? Really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this. And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy? Is he sure that isn't a big deal? Hey! Hey! Eh! You... Don't eh me! What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Ah, uh, sorry. I'm Hajime Hinata. Um, it's nice to meet you, too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but... I've already met a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You better do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. Hey, I don't have to live to your standards, woman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it? I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Yeah, fuck off. Fucking bitch. Alright, uh, hotel's old building. Uh, I guess that's something we can enter. Alright, let's go in here. I didn't see anyone else out here. Oh! Okay. Ah, uh, no, no, no. This old building is in the middle of a renovation pro project, so you cannot go inside. It's dangerous, you know? Showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. Well, hotel restaurant? I guess we'll go to the restaurant? I guess we could have gone into the entrance, but like, let's go into the restaurant. Why not? Ooh, I like this place. So this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet in here. It's kind—it of, kind of has this tropical, open, open country feeling. Open, even though we're stuck on this island. This guy really hates this island, bro. <laughs> 
Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Whoa, well, did you just eat poison? Why is his nose bleeding? Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Poison, I see. What? What is going on here? <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa, denied. Denied? Good day. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, my name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. Hello there. The fuck? He sounded like that one guy from Star Wars. Hello there. Why, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Teru Teru Hanamura. Okay. Ultimate cook. Okay. But That's pretty cool. Just call me the ultimate chef instead. It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? Now I'm gonna call you an idiot sandwich instead. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I can just imagine this guy on Hell's Kitchen. Teru Teru Hanemura, ultimate cook. Where's the lamb sauce? Mm hmm hmm. I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I have not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. Sonia, never mind. <laughs> that fucking last name, never mind. Okay. I, I don't know. I kind of, hey, I kind of like her look, you know? She, she kind of looks like my type. Oh, ultimate princess. Okay. That's why she looks so elegant. I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novo... Novo Selic? I don't know how to pronounce that. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Sonia, huh? Okay, well, that's a name that I can remember pretty easily. Same here, I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her and her hair glitters like the fields of wheat. Aw oh, dude, is is Hajime yeah yeah you can tell Hajime is in love with her. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. Hey. Are you enchanted? Well that probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally, I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Oh my god. Um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? In my home country, I did not have a single friend my, my age whose standing in society matched my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. Oh, okay. I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Th thanks. I don't even think he knows what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow. Simp! 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 Hey, yo, okay, don't be a simp. Just because she's a princess, you don't gotta be, be like simping over her. But, hey! You three, am I being left off the menu or something? N no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, what, do you like it? Was he filming like kitchen nightmares in here? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully. Yeah, I like it. Well. Guess that's about it. Though I like the big city flavor of my hometown. A, a country atmosphere. Oh my god, I can't read. Atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you. Understand. Refined? Cultured? Guilty as charged? Bro, this guy. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> no, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick. I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my feeling. Pecco? What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong too. What are your thoughts on that? Whoa! Whoa! This just took a turn, what the fuck? Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Why? What the fuck? Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, so this guy's a perv? Okay. I should have just assumed that, like, he, he kind of reminds me of a Fumi, actually. He kind of looks like him. No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. What? You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. <laughs> That's what he was doing. <laughs> That's so fucked, bro. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. Bro, he's really taking advantage taking advantage of her, bro. That's fucked up. I'd better not see you try that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go do that in, like, your fucking dorms or some shit. <laughs> not out here in the open. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Yeah, we want to make sure he doesn't get a knife, bro. Uh, alright, so we talked to these two. Uh, yeah, let's, let's head outside first. On this little, like, balcony area. Oh, I thought there was, like, a balcony area. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess hotel lobby? I'm assuming that's where the stairs are gonna lead to anyways, right? Okay. This place looks pretty chill. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling right now. But why are we the only ones in this hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. Oh, that's, very, that's very suspicious. Why are there, like, hotels and, like, dorms and, like, cottages and shit like that? Why is there, like, so much of this shit if it's uninhabited? For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. Yo, do we got Wi-Fi in here? What in the world is going on with this island? Yo, Wi-Fi? <laughs> What's the Wi-Fi password? Uh, let's talk to you. Who are you? State your business. Okay, chill. Oh, I just want to introduce myself. Is that alright with you? An introduction? Understood. Understood. I don't mind. I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. Ah, nice to meet so you. you're Miss Peko, huh? Peko Pekoyama. Ultimate Swordswoman. Oh, I thought that was like a musical instrument. Nah, that's a straight up sword. <laughs> this dignified looking woman is known as the Ultimate Swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. Damn. Well, there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. She probably has killed someone, bro. Bro, she has the same eyes that uh, Genocide Jack had. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this island. Yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate. I would prefer not to kill anyone. Oh. Kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Though it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a missing blow can be fatal. Or you could probably kill someone with anything. You could probably kill someone with like a plastic spork. <laughs> if you really tried hard enough. Well, an aim blow can be fatal too. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, you don't want to fuck with her. Uh, is that an arcade machine? Is, is that, that a Supra? Supra? God, there needs to be a car over here just so I can say, is that a Supra? <laughs> this place even has an arcade machine. <laughs> Isn't it great? This sure is a grand hotel. It's like we're at an inn. Uh, in the Hot Springs District or something. I don't know why I couldn't read there. Okay, who are you? What's your name? There's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it. Hajime. Hajime, you haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Y yeah, you're right. So go talk to her. She seems really focused on her game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Oh, is she gonna be like the ultimate video gamer or some shit? That would actually be kind of cool. We haven't met someone like that yet. Uh, um, excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. Oh, the quiet type, huh? Hey! Hey! Chiyuki! Oh, that's her name? Oh, sorry. I must have been a little too focused on my game. A little? Are you sure about that? Hey, she was in the gamer state there. I respect that. Let's see. Oh, right. Introductions. Got it. She is the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. 
Oh, dude. Should I even debate who the waifu is of this game anymore? Nah, dude. Chiki is... I, I might go with Chiki, bro. She might be best girl of this game. Now, I don't know if I would say better than Kyoko. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I would say that. That's a little too far. I'm Chiki Nanimi, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Hey, let's go. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Chiki Nanimi. That's a name that I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> I'm Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. She low-key kind of cute, too. Yeah, totally. Seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Well, she is gaming right now. It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Okay. Like, I can't talk that well unless I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. So she doesn't really have great social skills. Yeah, she's definitely a gamer. <laughs> Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. Yo! What? She's low-key kind of like me in real life. She's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this? Well, I mean... Why, why wouldn't you want to play video games if you had the time? <laughs> oh, getting tired? Sleepy. Oh, is she drooling? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Okay, I think we... Yeah, we talked to everybody here. Okay, I think we saw... We met everyone over here, right? There's just fucking butterflies and shit over here. Like I said, we're gonna do all the introductions in this video. It might be a long video, but... I think this game kind of deserves it, you know? I've been wanting to play this game for a really long time. Rocket Punch Market. Ooh, okay. Kind of looks like a gas station. <laughs> Mainly because of the sign that was sitting out there. Ooh, we got surfboards? Oh, yeah. It's like a souvenir shop. So this is a supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're on in we're in international waters? Yeah, where would we be in the world? I, I was going to say Hawaii, but clearly this isn't Hawaii. <laughs> Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. Definitely looks like it. Look at all the cola bottles, bro! <laughs> God damn, those are definitely more than two liters. For a while? It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poisoned? Oh my god, dude, Hajime like, actually needs to chill, bro. <laughs> what? Hmm, you certainly are the skeptical type, right? Of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this gigantic supermarket, and there's nobody else here except us. I saw other people in here. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? Th that's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? What happened? Wait, what did happen? It's nothing. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, huh? She's staring at me funny. Oh. This girl? Uh, 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 um... Um, you know... Oh, sorry. What are you apologizing for? What? What happened? Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl? Not cool, Hajime. Wait, he hasn't even said anything! <laughs> he didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, so your name is Hajime. If that's okay with you, may I please remember your name? Sh fucking go ahead. I can't control that. Uh, of course. I don't mind you remembering it, but... Konsumi teeth. From the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Okay, her voice. I like her voice. Ultimate nurse, okay. Mikansumiki. Um, you know. Um, 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 um. Uh, my mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. God damn. That seems excessive. Is everyone just, like, socially awkward on this island? I kind of dig it. It's okay if you take your time and, rem and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Huh? Ah! Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so... What's her deal? Ah! Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. Okay. 
I can see her being important later on. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Oh god. <laughs> can we actually die in this game? Because there wasn't really a threat to that in the first game. Well, except for that one time at the end of like Chapter 5 where the Mastermind went to come after you, but like, other than that, there wasn't really any threat of death, you know? Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just, I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Yo, everyone is, like, socially awkward on this island. Ah, not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. I'll do anything you say, just please don't hate me. Okay. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. Fuck it, fuck you, bro. Fuck off, Nagito. Seriously, why does this keep happening? Can we stop talking to her now? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Alright. That was an interaction. Uh, who are you? This fucking punk girl over here. What? Hello. Oh, hi! Who are you? Uh, um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! Hello! Your tension is super low. Are you feeling alright? Ah, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. Ibuki Miyoda. Okay. What are you? Ultimate musician. Oh. oh. I've definitely met someone like that before. All right. Introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans. Bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Man, I'm getting hella stooped. Stooped? Stoked? I think I think she meant stoked. <laughs> I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all of this deliciousness. And when I'm excited, I get hungry mungy. Oh, what? Hungry? What? Okay. I I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. I still can't fake laugh, bro. Um, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. I wonder, did she play with Saika? Who knows? Apparently their hit single, After School, Piyoyon Hour, sold over a million copies. Super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. Definitely! What? Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my. Are you interested? What? <laughs> you can hear me? <laughs> Duh, and Ibuki's a, mu a musician after all. Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna, I too am an awesome musician. Was Van Gogh a musician? I thought he was an, an artist. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Alright. God, my head hurts. Not even just from my headset. I guess just from yesterday. What is this? Vending machine? Why does that look like something familiar? Looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Ah, oh, I see what this is. This is the mono mono machine of this game, right? But it's a vending machine? Why do it be a vending machine though? Okay, I'm assuming we don't have any mono coins yet. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Okay. Cola? Want some cola? That's one big cola bottle. Yeah, that's what I said when I first saw that. I bet it'd go flat before you can even finish drinking it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we talked to you- wait, whoa, 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 night vision goggles? Whoa, 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 whoa. So these are military goods, huh? They even carry night vision goggles. I can't believe the super- the supermarket even sells stuff like this. Uh, alright, let's leave. Just trying to explore everything, because clearly this game really encourages you to explore and walk around everywhere. Is this an airport? What is this? Can I enter it? Airport. 
Okay. I didn't think there would be an airport here. Because it kind of just feels like we just teleported over here. Welcome to paradise. Oh god. This is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes? Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Can we use those planes to escape this island? Probably don't have fuel, right? Nah, nah that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Ah, uh, Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? Yeah, definitely. The person who's controlling that stuffed animal, Usami. But who is this? Who is doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. The less sense it makes. Whoops. That's right. Oh yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. Soda. I'm the Nice to meet you. Kazuichi Soda, I'm the ultimate mechanic. Alright. Oh my god, his zipper looks like- what, what is that thing you pop off on the soda can? Uh, as expected from someone called the ultimate mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. Okay. If he says it's beyond- if it's impossible to fix this plane, it truly is beyond repair. Hey. Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? What? What does that even mean? Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. See, everyone keeps saying that, but I'm very skeptical, like Hajime is. Uh... That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. What safety precautions? Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Oh wait, I think I, already, I read that already, right? Yeah, we already read this. Extreme violence on this is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Yep. Be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Lettering is not allowed. Let us, co Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. The lead teacher cannot d directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. Okay. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? No, they're just trying to trick us, bro. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe that- You believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know. Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. Yeah, but at least some skepticism is necessary to actually survive, you know? <laughs> That's right. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, you might she might start looking pretty cute. What? I'm actually je jealous of how carefree he's being right now. <laughs> Seems like a pretty chill guy. Uh, can't wait to see all my favorite characters die, am I right, guys? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that's how it went in, uh, Danganronpa 1. Airplanes? Can I look at the airplanes? To go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. They don't want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? Okay. I don't think there's anything else to check in here, other than this guy over here. Who are you, good sir? Whoa. What the fuck? Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Hmm, I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What's this guy talking about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. Okay. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Kundam Tanaka. Well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. This guy's voice, bro. Gundam Tanaka. Oh my god. The ultimate breeder. Bruh. That is not what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like ultimate priest or like ultimate Satanist or <laughs> I don't fucking know. He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Oh, I think I just skipped some dialogue. Whoops. 
Let me ask. Now then, it is my turn to ask questions. Whose master are you? Huh? It says eh a lot. Which tribe did you make your pack with? Answer me. Huh? What do you mean packed? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Bro, these people are crazy, bro. They're they're all socially awkward, they're all crazy. <laughs> Answer me now! Thou thou <laughs> Though I shall cast you into a watery grave, what's he do? I almost started speaking like Shakespeare for a second. <laughs> then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps. I think he's asking if he used to have a pet. I mean, I have one in his handbook. Pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Impossible. So, a mere insect. Chase your powerlessness. Ha! Your magic essence caps at a lowly five. Trash. Ch trash really? Hm. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me. My name is Gundam Tanaka. I feel like this is the type of guy to do like breeding in Pokemon for like the perfect IVs and like for shinies and shit. <laughs> He's definitely the guy who would do that. Who do you think I am? I am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord of Ice. What? Th hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! She's so loud, man. Is that a fat mouse? What is that? Taming e evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. It's like something you see out of a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> One of my four dark divas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk Jumpy, has to say this. Has this to say. We are not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. Fwa ha ha ha. You won't like me when I'm angry. Fwa ha 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 ha. Alright. Um, yeah. I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal, and even managed to succeed at pro proliferating an endangered species. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, rumor has it he can speak to animals? Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough to in that regard. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside of their, <laughs> their own scarf. I guess? Is that everybody? Oh yeah, I think that was everybody. Level 6, huh? Was that a school bell just now? Huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Oh shit. Congratulations, everyone! Wait, I just realized, this is how we get the message? How did I not realize that that is where the message the message comes from, the monitors? Oh my god, I thought it would just like pop out of nowhere on their EE handbook or anything like that. But it was always just on the monitors. I never knew that. I know, I'm I'm slow. Yeah, I guess we interacted with everybody. I'm I'm so happy. So I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. Oh god. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach! Oh god. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all! May Shining Hope be with you all, huh? What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that, a Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried, but it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Alright. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it off here. I think we've been recording for a while. Uh, oh my god, a minute, or not a minute, an hour and 55 minutes? Yeah, we've been recording for a really long time. This is a really long first episode, but, you know, like I said, I was really hyped to play this game, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. I kind of like this new cast of characters, you know? It's, it's like a good change of pace from the first game, but it's still very familiar, you know?